Welcome back to UGC Net English Quiz Series Number Seven. Today's first question is: Eating people is wrong. Is the debut novel by an English author Dash? Answer: Malcolm Bradbury. Eating people is wrong. Is the debut novel by an English author? Malcolm Bradbury The second question Dash is a book printed by William Caxton in 1485 which has the characters Sir Lancelot and a queen Ganiba Answer Le Morte di Arthur Le Morte di Arthur is a book printed by William Caxton in 1485 which has the characters Sir Lancelot and the Queen Guinevere Question number 3 The Secret Agent a Simple Tale is a novel by Joseph Conrad which is dedicated to Dash Answer: H. G. Wells. The Secret Agent, a simple tale, is a novel by Joseph Conrad, which is dedicated to H. G. Wells. Question number four: The Canonization is a poem written by. Answer: John Donne. The canonization is a poem written by John Donne. Question number five. The plot of this play centers on a black character, Macaq, who despises himself for being black. After being imprisoned for destroying things in a local market, he has a vision in jail of a white goddess, who pushes him to return to Africa. Which is this play? Answer: Dream on a Monkey Mountain. Dream on Monkey Mountain by Derek Walcott. The plot of this play centers on a black character, Macaque, who despises himself for being black. After being imprisoned for destroying things in a local market, he has a vision in jail of a white goddess who pushes him to return to Africa. Which is this play? Dream on a Monkey Mountain by Derek Walcott. Question number six. The chief source for layman's brut. Is Le Roman de Brut, written by the 12th century Norman poet Dash. Answer: Ways. The chief source for Layman's Brut is Le Roman de Brut, written by the 12th century Norman poet Ways. Question number seven. The meaning of epistem is dash. Answer: Knowledge. The meaning of epistem is knowledge. Question number eight. Who said Spencer read no language? Answer: Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson said, "Spencer read no language." Question number nine: A primitive mental image inherited from the earliest human ancestors 
and they're supposed to be present in the collective unconscious is called dash. Answer, an archetype. A primitive mental image inherited from the earliest human ancestors and is supposed to be present in the collective unconscious is called an archetype. Question number 10. Some Bhaskar is a millionaire industrialist married to a woman of his choice who has born him two children. They are relentlessly driven by undefined hunger which he unsuccessfully seeks to satisfy by possession of an object, a business enterprise, a woman. Which is this Indian novel? Answer, The Last Labyrinth, written by Arun Joshi. Some Bhaskar is a millionaire industrialist married to a woman of his choice who has born him two children, yet a relentlessly driven by undefined hunger which he unsuccessfully seeks to satisfy by possession of an object, a business enterprise, a woman. This novel is the Last Labyrinth, written by Arun Joshi. Question number 11. The suburbs of Charles I were called Dash. Answer. The Cavalier. The suburbs of Charles I were called the Cavaliers. Question number 12. Murti Patel Range Gauda Batta Achaka etc. are characters in Dash. Answer. Kantapura written by Raja Rao. Murti, Patel, Range Gauda, Bhatta, Achaka, etc. characters in Rajarabhus, Kantapura. Question number 13. Vidsit, also known as Dash, is an old English poem of 143 lines. Answer, The Traveler's Song, Vidsit, also known as The Traveler's Song, is an old English poem of 143 lines. Question number 14, In which of uh, Chinwa Achebe's works? The character Ezulu appears who is the chief priest of the god Ulu worshipped by the six villages of Umaro. Answer Arrow of God In which of which in watch base box the character Ezulu appears, who is the chief priest of the god Ulu, worshipped by the six villages of Umaro. Arrow of God, written by Chinwa Echebe. Moving on to the 15th question. The metaphysical poets like John Donne, Robert Herrick, and their Andrew Marvel implied a dash philosophy in their poetry. Answer Carp Dane. The metaphysical poets like Jonathan, Robert Herrick, and Andrew Marvel implied the Carp 
philosophy in the poetry. Question number 16. After Wentzburg, the robber or the banished cavaliers is a play in two parts. There is a revision of Thomas Killigrew's play Dash. Answer Tommaso or the Wanderer. After Bench, the Rover or the Banished Cavaliers is a play in two parts. There is a revision of Thomas Killigrew's play Tommaso or the Wanderer. Question number 17. Ben Johnson's comedies are called Dash. Answer. Comedy of Humors. Ben Johnson's comedies are called Comedy of Humors. Question number 18. A Julia Kristeva designates two modes of signifying process that constitute language. The first one is the symbolic, which is an expression of clear and orderly meaning. Whereas the second one, dash, is an expression of feelings and bodily drives. And the semiotic. Julia Kristeva designates two modes of signifying process that constitute language. The first one is the symbolic, which is an expression of clear and orderly meaning. Whereas the second one, that is semiotic, is an expression of feelings and the bodily drives. Question number 19. Edmund Spencer's elegy on the death of Philip Sidney is dash. Answer, Astrophil. Astrophil is Edmund Spencer's elegy mourning the death of Philip Sidney. Now moving on to the Next question, that is question number 20. Dash highlights capitalism and the patriarchy as a central aspect in understanding women's oppression. Answer, materialist feminism. Materialist feminism highlights capitalism and the patriarchy as a central aspect in understanding women's oppression. Question number 21. Whose first novel, The Comforters, is concerned with a neurotic woman writer, Caroline Rose, who comes to terms with her hallucinations and with her godlike status as a creator? Answer, Muriel Sparks. Muriel Sparks' first novel, The Comforters, is concerned with a neurotic woman writer named Caroline Rose who comes to terms with her hallucinations and with her godlike status as a creator. Question number 22. The tragedy of Gobodek, also titled Ferex and the Porix, is an English play written by Dash. Answer Thomas Norton and Thomas Sackville. The tragedy of Gobodek, also titled Ferex and the Porix, is an English play written by Thomas Norton and Thomas Sackville.
Question number 23. A second defense of the monotheistical system of the Vedas in a reply to an apology for the present state of Hindu worship. 1817. It was an essay written by Answer, Rajaram Mohan Roy. A second defense of the monastetical system of the Vedas in a reply to an apology for the present state of Hindu worship, 1817, was written by Rajaram Mohan Roy. Question number 24. Which of William Shakespeare's plays begins with a framing device, often referred to as the induction, in which a mischievous nobleman tricks a drunken tinker named Christopher Sly into believing he is actually a nobleman himself? The nobleman then has the play performed for Sly's diversion. Answer, The Taming of the Shrew, which of Shakespeare's plays begins with a framing device, often referred to as the induction, in which a mischievous noble man tricks a drunken tinker named Christopher Sly into believing he is actually a nobleman himself. The nobleman then has to play performed for Sly's diversion. The Taming of the Shrew by Shakespeare. Now question number 25. The central character of this novel are Francis Andrews, Elizabeth, who is a girl he meets shortly after the man she lives with dies, and another character, Carleon, the captain of the smuggling boat whom Andrews has betrayed by writing a letter informing the customs officers of the time that the boat will land. Which is this novel? Answer, The Man Within, written by Graham Greene. The central characters of The Man Within are Francis Andrews and a, a woman named Elizabeth, a girl Francis Andrews meets shortly after the man she lives with dies, and another character, Carleon, the captain of the smuggling boat, whom Andrews has betrayed by writing a letter informing the customs officers of the time that the board will land. The Man Within, written by Graham Greene. Question number 26. The character, Subtle, appears in Ben Johnson's play, Dash. Answer, The Alchemist. The character Subtil appears in Ben Johnson's play, The Alchemist. Question number 27. Toby Stephen, Cleve Bell, Leonard Wolfe, Lytton Strachey, and his Saxon Sidney Turner are members of Dash. Answer, The Bloomsbury Group. Toby Stephen, Cleve Bell, Leonard Wolfe, Lytton Strachey, and a Saxon Sidney Turner are members of the Bloomsbury Group. Now question number 28. Poetry creates the myth. The prose writer draws its portrait. Who observed this? Answer. Jean-Paul Sartre. Poetry creates the myth. 
the prose writer draws its portrait observed jean paul sartre now question number 29 outlander is a series of historical fantasy novels written by the american author answer diana gabaldon outlander is a series of historical fantasy novels written by the american author diana gabaldon now the last question question number 30 The term metaphysics was first used by Dash while commenting on John Donne's poetry. Answer: John Dryden. The term metaphysics was first used by John Dryden while commenting on John Donne's poetry. and that's all for today in the next class we will meet again with some more such interesting questions